Hey Sam families, I'm back again. Thought I was done, but I forgot about pickup. So just real quick, you're gonna follow the same procedures that you would um, in the morning, that you follow the same ones in the afternoon. Only difference is on the elementary side, there are designated times of when you're gonna come pick up your student based on your placard color, which you can find on our website. So if you do arrive early, don't enter into the drive line until it's your time. You can park off onto the side of the road and wait until it's your time to then enter a drive line. You can always ask one of the educational assistants or drive line volunteers that's helping um, if you have any, clarif uh, any questions that you need clarified. On the secondary side, you'll be allowed to enter into the parking lot here. And what you'll do is they will, you will kind of line up in the two lanes and wait for dismissal. Your secondary students will come out and they will get into the cars that are lined up there. The driveline volunteers um, will, as soon as the first sets of cars are all filled up, they will then stop everybody from crossing, stop all walkers from going, and allow these cars to then exit the parking lot, which will, again, be two lanes exiting out, merging at the stop sign. Um, so just be aware, again, during pickup, that you have people crossing in the parking lot. You also have high schoolers or secondary students that have par um, uh, that have uh, cars, so they will be exiting as well. They will be using this lane here to exit the parking lot. Okay, so just be aware that you are always in the correct two lanes as you are coming uh, to pick up your students. We do have a carpool feature, um, which is uh, over there in the snake is what we call it. Um, but during this COVID uh, time period, we will not be using the carpool area. You're all gonna filter in into the two lanes here. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful for you and uh, we can't wait to see you next week, thanks.